The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. City. One. The only map you will ever need to this campus is in the palm of your right hand. Lay it across your chest and you can feel your way to the heart of campus. Raise it as often as possible and opportunity will find you. Extend it frequently and with an accompanying smile and you will never be lonely or lost again. And if you read it, you just might find fortune in your future too. On your first day of college, bury yourself in your books. So every day you wake up, you make enough room to resurrect a new you on the horizon. Three, home training is subjective. Call for a preemptive truce with your future roommate, even if you've never met. Long before your first fight over food in the fridge, you should establish ground rules in order to coexist. You and your memories will spend more time there than anywhere else on campus, so you get to choose whether it is indeed a sanctuary or an asylum. And as you'll soon find out later in life, living with others is the hardest part of any relationship. Just ask your parents or do us all a favor and commute. Four, go to all office hours when offered. The real world is built on relationships, not GPA nor class rank. Besides, your professor probably knows someone who might like to hire you and just doesn't know it yet. Because recommendation letters are infinitely more interesting when your professor knows more about you than resume attached. Because it is highly probable that many of you will one day teach. And how would you feel being jilted at the office? Five. At least once a week, introduce yourself to someone it looks like you have absolutely nothing in common with. Statistics suggest you'll never have more proximity to and density of diverse identities and ideas. It's nothing like home. And that's a good thing. Six, whenever a classmate invites you home for the holidays or vacation, say yes. These offers are practically non-existent outside the collegiate environment. Sure, you're likely to gain five pounds in the process, but much like the freshman 10, you'll lose it in no time thanks to your high stress diet. But the memories, the memories will last a lifetime, even if the friendships don't. Seven, there is an entire universe beyond the confines of the university. An open book mesa practically begging you to come journal your journey by the foot. A whole curriculum of culture that don't cost a thing except curiosity. A place that will shape you if you let it. A city you can fall in love with that will actually love you back. Eight, put the camera down. Become your own living film. Inca dye your skin and leave the sun to develop all the positives and negative images of your life. Seeing the world through a glass sheet used to be a prison bit. And now it's kind of like the checkout line in the time of coronavirus. But your sensory memory is timeless. Unlike all the Instagram, Snapchats, WhatsApp, TikToks that will ultimately go extinct. Don't entrust the best years of your life to a machine. Nine. If you stay long enough, you're never, ever, ever going to want to leave. At least one of your college besties never will. And it is still clinically unclear whether that is indeed a blessing or a curse, madness or magic, a siren trance. But whatever it is, it is a fact. That is to mean this is not a diss, but a disclaimer. Ten. Even though there was no proper graduation, you are graduated. A car-carrying member of the post-gender fraternity sorority of people who made it this far. Survived secondary education and still won't give up. And even then decided that wasn't enough. But you will always have each other. Class of 2020, we will never forget what you gave up for us.